This is the Andromeda Galaxy, 2.5 million light years away. On the left, six hours of exposure, and on the right, nine hours of exposure with a combination of astro and dual band filters. Tonight, I'm going to show you exactly how I captured this using my Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. Why Andromeda? Andromeda is our largest galaxy. It's about six times larger than our full moon. For me, personally, it's also the main reason why I bought my Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. I've had to wait six months for the opportunity for me to capture this. And Andromeda was one of those galaxies which is what made me originally get into astrophotography and made me buy my Dwarf 3. So I've been really excited to capture this one. I use the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope on the tripod, set it up in EQ mode, and this allows me to set it up to 120 second exposure times while I'm tracking the galaxies in the night sky. You can use a DSLR in a telescope too, but for this video, I'm just keeping it to the Dwarf 3. Finding Andromeda is easier than you think. Look for the W-shaped constellation of Cassiopeia, then star hop down to the faint glow of the Andromeda. With the Dwarf 3 app, it's even easier. Just tap in Andromeda, set go to, and the telescope does the rest. Here's a single 30 second frame of Andromeda. It's faint, it's noisy, and let's be honest, it's not very exciting. But if you stack hundreds of these together, multiple hours of footage, you really start to see a photo like this, which is six hours worth of footage. We can really start to see the details and why stacking is so important. You can then take this a step further and do a nine hour version. So this is six hours plus an additional three hours using a dual band filter and then stacked in Pixie Insight, where you can see the richer dust lanes really start to come out in this. I think if you start to go beyond 12 hours, you start to get the law of diminishing returns, which is essentially where the more data you get, you're probably not gonna get much more benefit from it at that point in time. But if you wanna try it, obviously let me know in the comments what you think, if, if I'm right or wrong. I'm not gonna push it too much more than this. Here's a fun fact, Andromeda is on course to combine with the Milky Way in about four billion years time and it will create one massive galaxy. So there you go. That's how I captured the Andromeda Galaxy on my Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. And yes, it was worth the wait. If you're looking to get into astrophotography or considering getting a Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope like myself, I strongly, strongly recommend choosing Andromeda as your first galaxy. And if you found this video helpful, please like and consider subscribing for more videos. I think my next one will either be on Pleiades or Orion. Probably Orion because it's the most colourful nebula in our galaxy. And until next time, clear skies.